Hello everybody, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife. Now as you can see, today we're at the sea. But this is not just any sea, this is the North Sea. And today we are at Horsey Beach. Now, Horsey Beach in the winter, this whole area here will be absolutely covered in grey seals. It's what's known as a rookery. So in the winter, the grey seals all climb out onto the beach here and then the bulls will mate with the cows and claim a territory and fight each other in battles Basically, you cannot believe how quiet it is here today compared to what it would be, say, in December. However, today there are still some seals about, as you can see in this clip here. Where is he? There he is. Look at him. Big old grey seal just springing around behind me. Oh, there's another one. And there's another one. There's three of them just behind me today. So, and we're going to try to take a look at them. Let's jump up. Ugh. Okay, so just had to climb over a little, little groin thing back there. But yes, yeah, so today we're going to try to take a closer look at them. I've got my um, DSLR camera with me and we're going to, yeah, without disturbing them, they're all bouncing around in the water out there. Um, can't actually see any right now, can we? Mm, no. But, however, they are all out here maybe 10 metres from the shore and obviously they pop their heads up and they get a few seconds to film them and then they pop their heads back down again. Um, I did just walk all the way down there looking for some that are on the beach but there aren't any here today I don't think so you just have to do the best of what you've got don't you? So, so yeah, we'll have to see what happens. Hopefully I'll just get, I can put together some good footage and if I just keep talking to the camera for like, I don't know, half an hour maybe some of what I say is not going to be mumbo jumbo and it'll be worth watching. Um, yeah, it's typical every time I press play, like, well, press record all the seals, because there are seals just out here, just somewhere here, beyond the waves, there are seals. But, they've obviously seen me coming, and for who's that guy, who's that guy taking videos? We're not gonna be in his videos today. Oh, however, I have found something just here. Well, first off, this little blob of jelly, how am I going to show you? I don't know if you can see that because I can't see the screen. But anyway, if you can see that there, that's what's called a sea squirt, I believe. I'm going to check before I post this bit, but... That's my hand. Can you see it? Like a little bit of jelly. There are loads of them just down there. Hopefully you can see them on the beach, these things here. Um, yeah, so... Let's keep walking, let's keep walking, let's keep talking. There are absolutely hundreds of sea squirts just down here on the floor. And crabs as well. Lots of dead crabs. Hmm. I wonder maybe with the, the recent weather, it's been pretty rainy, pretty stormy a couple of days ago, so maybe there's been a lot of under churning going on in the sea and that's disturbed them and washed them all up. Don't know. Maybe. Anyway. Enough of me talking to you, and let's see if I can find and film some grey seals. After more than an hour of trying to film the seals with no luck at all, I decided to take a closer look at some of the creatures that had washed up on the shoreline. Sea gooseberries are also known as comb jellies. When they're alive they have bioluminescent strips that run the length of their body and two tentacles that trail behind them. These tentacles catch small organisms that are drifting in the current, which the gooseberry then consumes. Amongst the sea gooseberries there are various parts of and complete bodies of dead crabs. This species is the shore crab which is also known as the European green crab. They are a very hardy species that can be found on mudflats, sandy coastlines, estuaries and harbours. Because of their adaptability and hardiness they have become an invasive species in some parts of the USA and Canada. I also noticed a few dead fish that had washed up. 
Unfortunately, freshwater fish is my area of expertise and I have no idea what these species are. If you know, then let me know in the comments section. All of these washed up sea creatures provide food for the black headed gulls. At this time of year it would seem they have an appropriate name, but this is their breeding plumage. In the winter months their heads lose most of the black colourings and they have just a darker patch behind the eye. This is a small species of gull that is as happy far inland as it is around the coast. I was trying to film this one as it kept flying up and making shallow dives into the water when something caught my eye out beyond the waves. The grey seal is one of the largest mammals in the UK and almost half of the world's population lives here. The males, known as bulls, can grow to up to 3 metres in length and weigh more than 300 kilograms. The females are known as cows and they do not get to such a size. They weigh up to 190 kilos and grow to lengths of around 2 meters. The cows can live for up to 35 years whereas the lifespan of a bull is much shorter, often less than 25 years. Although they are far from nimble when on land, grey seals are well adapted to a life at sea. They can dive for more than 10 minutes at a time and for short bursts they can swim at up to 32 kilometres per hour. The cows are pregnant for 11 and a half months and give birth to a single pup that weighs around 14 kilos. The pup will only be fed by its mother's milk for 3 to 4 weeks at which point the cow will abandon it and head back out to sea. The pup will then spend a few more weeks on the beach, living off its fat reserves and molting into a waterproof coat before heading out to sea itself. I had a lucky 15 minutes and then, as quickly as the seals appeared, they disappeared once more. Okay then guys, so as you can see I'm back in the car now, um, the sun's just going down back there, probably too bright for you to see, but it is now going down, and I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed with how much I managed to film today. So at the beginning of the video when you saw the seals were in the background, just after that a family came onto the beach, um, and everybody should enjoy the beach which is fine, but the kids are running around and I think the seals got a little bit scared away, and it became much harder to film. However. Obviously we saw the black headed gulls and we saw the sea squirts and we did get a few glimpses of grey seals so all in all it's been a worthwhile trip. Also I've got to spend an evening on this lovely lovely beach so you win some and you lose some. Thank you very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you didn't get too bored throughout um, and I hope you can stick with me as I do a few more of these wildlife tour style videos. Um, thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you again soon.